go into what is our first uh, first step in the cycle of operations for this weapon. So for this weapon, the first step, um, as I see it, is going to be cocking the weapon. So to cock the weapon, uh, we really need the hammer to be in its vertical position. So now that the weapon has been released, the sear has been the sear has been released. Um, the hammer is in its upright position. So for today's class, like I said, we're going to be using uh, empty magazine, but we're going to load it up with two Magpul dummy rounds. So they're just plastic, not live ammunition. Anytime I cycle the action, and especially when I dry fire, I like my firing pin to go into something that it's designed to go into instead of just dry firing and having all that pressure push up against the face of the bolt. I'm trying to make my weapons last as long as possible. So we've loaded the magazine with two dummy rounds. The dummy rounds and the magazine are going to be inserted into the magazine well. Now once we've done that, it's seated, we know. So now we're gonna move into the first step in the cycle, and that's going to be cocking. So with cocking, um, we're going to pull the charging handle all the way to the rear. When the charging handle pulls to the rear, it pulls the bolt back to the rear. It drags that hammer back down and locks it back into the sear of the trigger. So all the pressure pulling back onto the charging handle, uh, this same function will happen automatically when the weapon is fired and the gases function the bolt backwards without having to manipulate the charging handle. So the next three steps are really gonna incur in one movement. So when I release this charging handle, uh, the bolt is gonna drag across the magazine, picking up a round, um, and that's going to start the feeding of the chamber. So when it picks up the round, it's going to force it back up into the chamber against two feed ramps that are on the barrel extension on this weapon. So the round is going to come up into the chamber, and then from there, it is going to lock into place. So. The AR is equipped with a rotating bolt. So when the bolt goes all the way forward, there's a cam pin that allows the bolt to turn at approximately, I don't know, like 15 degree angle, possibly. Uh, I might be off to lock the lugs into place. When the bolt locks into place, you are now ready for firing. So again, we're gonna operate that safety selector switch ensure that uh, we're pointing in a safe direction, and the next stage is going to be firing. When we fire that weapon, this is going to begin the next uh, several cycles of operation. They're going to all happen in a blink of an eye. So once the weapon is fired, to do so, the trigger is pulled, the sear releases the hammer, the hammer hits the firing pin, firing pin strikes the primer, Primer uh, ignites the propulsion, firing the bullet out of the barrel. Once the bullet has traveled to a specific point down the barrel, um, it could be a carbine length, it could be a rifle length, it could be a pistol length. Uh, it, it all depends on the model that you have. There is a gas port in the barrel, which is going to force the gases up and out back into the receiver. So that gas coming back into the receiver is going to begin the next several stages of our cycle. So once that gas hits our bolt, the first thing that's going to happen is the unlocking phase. It's going to start to push against the bolt, which is going to rotate that bolt face back to its uh, vertical position, releasing the lugs. Now from there, once those lugs are released, which are simulated by pulling the bolt back just a little bit, the next step that we're going to have is uh, going to be our extraction. So the round is going to be extracted with the help of an extractor on the bolt that is locked into the face of the round and it's going to start to pull it out of the chamber. Uh, for this to happen in an actual cycle of fire, the big thing that needs to happen is the gases need to release and the uh, casing needs to shrink back to size to allow this to happen. I've seen that happen several times on my AR-10s where that doesn't happen and they really need to be tuned a lot better. So for this, once the round is extracted from the chamber and the bolt hits back to, uh, on this one it's going a little bit longer just because it is a dummy round so it still has the full bullet length. Once it hits back, 
there's a spring on the face of the bolt that is going to eject that round. So when the round ejects and the bolt moves back forward, it's gonna pick up the next round and begin that same cycle. So locks it back in place, trigger is pulled. When the trigger is pulled, round fires. After the round fires, the uh, bolt is going to then unlock. And then when it unlocks, it's gonna to begin to extract. And then it's rearward rearward movement it is going to eject the next round so now that we've done that we've ended on an empty magazine flip the safety selector switch back from uh, semi to safe we're going to drop the magazine look look away look look away ensure that weapon is free and clear 